what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd We said I have faith in this shit Get it on, gotta bring who you with And them niggas that doubt it gonna stay on that shit And I can't leave without it, they play that I slip, look We got a new episode of Talk of the Town Today we have a special guest, Juan Bills So for the people that don't know, tell me where you from From Bronx, Monterey, when they do it and how would you describe it living over there? I mean, it says like everywhere else. There's a lot, of, a lot of negative shit going on, a lot of positive shit going on. Niggas playing ball, niggas selling for me, doing what they do. It's the same shit everywhere. So, how'd you find your way into music? Because my pops and my uncle, they, for me, they got it. It was into this music shit back then. Like, they had a passion for this shit, so they taking me everywhere with them. Studio, we for me video shoots, we everywhere with them. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just seeing that shit, so as I'm seeing I'm like, yeah, that's what I wanna do. Okay. Yeah. And where they was taking you, like on tour? Y'all was traveling? Like... No, they wasn't that late. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so like, what y'all doing? Like local shows, like just packed out venues? The people knew you? No, they just like, stopping you? Little shit, like studio. Video shoots. Oh, okay. They their own show. Like oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how'd you get into it? Like, what, what made you first go to the studio that first day? Like, I'm about to lock in. I ain't gonna lie, boo. Y'all remember? Nah, I'm gonna keep it a stuck. I was just, I was just thinking that I was gonna talk with the negative, bro. I'm like, fuck it. That's what y'all saying for me. So you wanted to, to I guess more it's more of a therapeutic thing for you. No, no, really it's just trying to sound positive for you. So well, if you wasn't doing music, what do you think you'd be doing? Yeah, money. <laughs> okay. So um so you went in the studio because I guess trying to deter your thoughts, right? Okay, so what was that first record like? What was that? What's the vibe? Did you like it? Did you ever put that song out? Or it was just, you had to get that off your chest that day? No, nah, yeah, I don't know. I never put that song out. <laughs> I ain't like that shit either, though. That shit made me, that's how devastated. So did you play it for anybody? Or it was just... I didn't do none of that. <laughs> After that, that first song, but I ain't gonna lie, I was fake tight. Angle is, I to look, I'm going there thinking that shit gonna sound like some little baby shit for me, some Drake shit. That shit sounded trash, so I'm like, nah, it's not it. So you was like singing? <laughs> so singing that's your bop. Are you gonna work on that or what? I just gotta get a little bit better with that Okay. Alright, so did a little singing or whatever. But what made you get into rapping? Like did you practice in more? Was you writing more? Was you working with more people? You must say a little bit of more practicing for me. And I just feel like I could release it more. Mm. So who's like some of your favorite artists? No New York artists. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So like who so like who's some artists that inspire you? Of course Meek Mill, but like any other artists? Maybe not just on music, on business time and like, you know. They gotta be they gotta be up here. They could be. Like anybody. The bros like They inspire you? Some love. Shout out to Low, bro. Shout out to Flug, Free Flug, bro. That nigga, for me, them niggas like, niggas like that, bro. That's it. Yeah, so, how'd y'all all meet? Nah, I knew them since I was in front of you. It was tiny, like, from you. From bro, kids? Yeah, yeah, you were from the same old. Oh, okay. And so, y'all met, um, was they in the studio before you, or you went in the studio after? Like, how'd that go? I was faking the studio first, because I've been doing this since I was 16 for me, so mm -hmm. yeah, I faking them studio first. Okay. So being around them, you got a different energy, I guess? I mean, Did you say that? Or? Yeah, you could say that, but nah, not really, though. Nah, no? It was, just, it was just more like better vibes, I don't know, that's it. Okay, so then the first single was No Alibs, right? You got songs before that? Hey, boy, you gotta do your research. So, 
I did my research, but that was the biggest. That was a big song. Like, let's talk about it. Like, was you wasn't something. talking crazy. I seen songs from like two years ago. I seen the other ones, but I feel like that one. You know, you really put your all in that one. Is that around the time you was taking music serious, or was you taking music serious before that? No, I was always taking music serious. I mean, always taking music serious. Okay. You know, it's crazy though, like, I didn't even know what albums was going to be like that, but that was like some fake. All right, let me just introduce them to what I'm doing. Like, for me. So you didn't expect that to do that? I don't know, bro. So, like what, like, what you saw, like, how you saw it going up? Was people tagging you all the time? You kept seeing your story? Like, like how was that? How was those moments, like? Niggas was tagging me for me. I said going on my story. Academics niggas posted it for me. Academics posted it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to them too, yo. And then um, when they hit an M, how you found out? Somebody told you? You saw that shit? Like. Oh, yeah, my son. Um, one of my sons hit me like, and then he texted me 3 o'clock in the morning, like, yo, that shit in the middle, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was fine. So you woke up to that? Yeah, I woke up to that. Man. That's Liddy, that's Liddy. So like, does does views and stuff matter to you? Cause you seem more like a lyrical type person. Uh, so don't matter to me. I just want to get my point across. That's it. Okay, so getting your point across in the music, of course. Yeah, and I want them to really feel me, like really listen. To me. Like, that's it. I don't care about the views, care about all that like, politics, all that other shit. Mhm. So when people hear warm bills, what do you want them to think? I think it's different. Like, <laughs> He, why are you talking like that? That's what I'm going to think about. Like so when you say get your message across, you mean like whatever you're feeling that day or do you have, you want to leave a certain, you know, message for the peers behind you or what do you? Like either way for me, whether I'm, when I'm feeling that day or, or I'm trying to get a message to somebody else out there for me. Mm -hmm. That's feeling the same way. It might be either way I don't know. Because the Cry All Night song, I feel like that song was more like a personable type song, you know what I mean? So, like, what inspired that song? Or you just was. Like, how, what's your creative process like? Like, how are you getting your zone? That shit's coming to me out of nowhere, then I just run with it. Like, see, if I'm listening to a beat, I'm in a stool and bother, it might come to me on walking. So you write? Yeah, I don't know. Nah, like songs like the And how you feel about that? Like So we had interviewed somebody and it was like, you know, it's it's like tempting because everyone's dissing, you know, your man, so it's like sometimes you just get in the booth and wanna just do it that day. You think it'd be like that or it's like you just want to end it all once and for all? Like, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I really hate that shit, bro. Well, uh, they need to leave them. They need to leave them for me. I'm leaving them for the app? But yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna tell you the truth, though. It depends, bro. Because it's like, niggas be overdoing it for me. Mm. Like, so, like, it's like, all right, y'all did it once, bro. Y'all did it twice, three times, so, like, come on, y'all going crazy. I feel like they do that to kind of get your attention, you don't think so? Oh, yeah, got my attention. <laughs> it's like, I ain't chill out now. So what's like some of your goals in this like music industry? Like you want billboards, plaques, you just want to, you know, lead a hood. Like what's the, some of your goals? I want to lead a hood, take the hood with me. I'm trying to be bigger than a tree. I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah. like, like, so, do you want to sign a deal? Do you want to stay independent? Like, what are you, what are your thoughts? Or you don't know, whatever happens, happens? Uh, I really want to stay independent, but I feel like if I sign a deal, I'm going to get my point of course. Like, okay. Me, I'm really get it over there, like. Okay. So you're open to sign a deal? If the time is right? Price is right? Like, what? It's going to make sense. Okay. Okay. And then, like, I feel like you have a certain, you know, kind of beat selection, I guess. So, like, do you got producers sending you packs, or do you have a favorite producer, or? 
Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have a certain type that you look for, or? <laughs> Why do you, you pick like kind of like, you pick like certain type of beats. Sometimes it'd be real dark and then sometimes it'd be. How you feel about this whole sample thing though? Like. Really, still, 2022, you fuck with the sample? What do you think is next for all this? You got some singles in the cut, I'm sure. Uh, I got a lot of singles in the cut. I mean, two singles in the cut. Well, I think it's less for me or for this drill shit. For the drill shit, let's go to drill shit. Wait. I think a lot of this shit about to be bad. Either. Shit about to be <laughs> Why you say that? Because a lot of people get locked up. Is that like kind of like does that deter your motivation? I see your man's uh, get locked up, or that makes you want to work harder. Smarter, like. Yeah. So like, you know, with everybody being locked up, that makes you want to work harder, or that deters your motivation. Yeah. So like when I'm sure when the news happened, you see the internet blowing it up. I guess in a sense, or like, you know, like how you feel about that? When people, I guess, give their input on situations that, you know? Or you try to just ignore that stuff? Yeah, I ignore that shit. I don't even, I ain't gonna lie, I don't really play that shit no more. Do you like, do you like be on social media a lot or you don't like, like the internet shit like that? Be on us, but I don't like the internet. So. <laughs> I was see what's going on, but I don't, I'm not gonna fall in us. So. Okay, okay. And um, so like, who's some people that keep you, I guess, motivated? Family, friends. Yeah, for me, a lot of love. Shout out to um, shout out to old Gates, man. Shout out to Bogart. Shout out to um, shout out to my girls who I'll be, I'll be on us. So you might do some R and B shits, you saying? So some R and B vibes. A little bit of everything. Are you like over the drill wave or are you just gonna do it because everybody fucking with it right now? Like what's your thoughts on this this that? I'm a master monitor, so I know we need to be done. I'm only doing this because I need all hours on me for me. Okay. So I can put on what I want to do. Okay. So just looking for that attraction, and then you're going to reroute. Okay. Do you feel like, is, like, what are some struggles you feel like New York artists have besides the beef and the politics? Like, what else? What are the issues you feel like being an artist, being from New York City? Boys doing thick. <laughs> Even uh, still, now nah, I know. Nah. Once they see you going up on socials, it's like that in Brooklyn too. So, it don't make no sense, so definitely cops. Anything else? Uh, People say like New Yorkers don't support. What do you think about that? That's you see you want to yeah, I feel like you got a solid quick. Okay, so definitely just the uh, police and shit like that. That's a fact. So um, so what's next? We're definitely doing some R&B shit. What else? Any features we can look forward to? Collabs in a tuck? Yeah, more features with the game. Like, we love, and I just can't help it, so we love dropping next week. Next week? Yeah, next week. Then I got home. Some shit would be low for me, um, Dusty too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that snippet, we saw that snippet. How y'all clicked up, you and Dusty? That's the move. Oh, of course, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs>
I forgot. But yeah, so definitely that's me. Any other any other artist you want to work with? It could be mainstream. Like who's on your bucket list to work with? Oh, Adele. Adele? Yeah, so you bump Adele? You bump Adele? That's what's up. No, like um, Lil Baby. You know people say Lil Baby all the time. You want to tap into a whole different market. Okay. So definitely working with Adele. Definitely got some collabs in the cut. 2022, what should we look forward to? Project dropping? Uh, just the one uh. news takeover. Like, I mean, Seeing you everywhere. Seeing you everywhere. everywhere. You say you're not doing no more interviews, so this the last one. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. It's what it should have done, bro. <laughs> Why is it you don't like doing interviews? I don't even like talking, bro. Like, yeah, you give me real calm. For me, I don't like talking, bro. I jack it also, like, for me. <laughs> Appreciate that. You know but tell the people where to find you, where to find your music, and all that good stuff. You can find me at the Real One Builds. Fire um, overnight. Like, all that good shit I will me and me love drop some people. Stay tuned, that's what. Yo, Feasty Boo, Feasty Flop, man. That's it, bro.